Well, here we are, part two, the carry on from yesterday. The mojo's been found. And Ryan. Thanks for watching if you have. I know that this isn't titillating footage or ridiculous editing or special effects. There's zombies coming out of the ground. Nothing's blowing up. That's for you. See you in a minute. What am I doing a day then? Um, weeding, cutting some grass, and going to be breaking some pallets. Not with these anymore. We're getting a black finger anymore from misuse of hammer on nail, not the correct nail, fingernail. Great shout out from David Brewer. Look at this, the pallet buster. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Let's just show you how it works. How easy is that? What a shout out. Absolutely best bit of kit I've bought in ages. Kit, tool, best tool I've bought in ages. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm gonna crack on and uh, make a box. I'll just show you the uh, one I made yesterday. So I just quickly knocked up one of these yesterday for uh, Kim's iceberg lettuces. And I'm gonna make another one just to go there. So um, I'm gonna get busy and uh, crack on with that. So. See you in a minute. Right, as you can tell, it's a different day. Uh, Wednesday, to be precise. Wednesday afternoon, in the afternoon off. So, um, didn't quite finish all what I was meant to be filming on Sunday, the day after, so the, uh, the next episode is delayed a bit. But then again, you already know that. Um, yeah, just really got cracked on. And um, you sort of forget about the filming bit and we were so exhausted come the end of it that we, we just wanted to go home. So uh, let me just do you a quick um, June tour and uh, we'll do it to a bit of music. So uh, cue music. Show the bit down the bottom in a minute. I just uh, came to just shout to me, can I go and bring the big choppers? Whatever that's about.
mother. With a white belly. Where? What are we looking at? There, with a white belly. Oh, you're on about the spider? Yeah. With his egg sack? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> do you want him? No! What do? He's a big chopper. So, uh, weeding. Last final bit. And then, there are going to be no more weeds, is there? Oh, I hope not. Because I've just gone and bought all that lot. I've got to more money. So, right, I was noticing she'd been down here planting a few more things. Right, now then. What do you reckon that is? I mean, I reckon that's some type of cabbage or... That is not a flower. Can't be a flower. She's got another one here as well. So she's, she's assured me these are flowers. <laughs> I can't wait if that grows up to be a big cabbage or cauliflower. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Oh, I'll tell you what, she is one of a kind. At least she's still got flowers. At least she's got flowers in here, like I said, there's no sweet corn or anything popping up. But she's brilliant. She's brilliant. Now, I'm assuming, I mean, I'm not, I don't know myself, but I'm positive that is not a flower. 100%. I'm, I'm sure I'm 100%, but um, if you think you know what it is, put it in the comments. I'm going to keep it. Shh. All right, so after watching um, Dave's garden allotment and looking at his um, garlic, and he pointed out this, which he referred to as rust. Uh, and my garlic is suffering really bad with it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave it. But I had one that went to um, seed over there, so I thought I'd just pull it out to see what it was like. and. That's the, the garlic that I got out of him, which ain't bad. I mean, that's the sort of size you would buy in uh, any supermarket, I would have thought. So I'm happy with that. But the old boy, old, um, as uh, me and Kev refer to him, is old sweary brine. He said to me the other day, he said, do you want a garlic? He's got loads growing. And um, I says, yeah, because I've just pulled one. I, th I think we're not going to have... Um, like see our first year growing it uh, garlic so you know if, if, if we get one or two or, or whatever if they all come out and they're, they're tiny then that's fine by me but i say it's it's, it's, uh, it's it's all a learning curve so um, i went over there and uh, i says yeah and he pulled one and this is <laughs> so brian's garlic my garlic and I said to him, I goes, when did you plant them? And he said, I put them in November. And I said, that's funny. I said, I put mine in in November as well. I said, uh, what did you do? Put them in any manure or, 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 or what did you do that I've not done? He said, no, I just planted them and then left them. I went, ah, right. I said, uh, because mine are nowhere near the size of uh, what yours are. Uh, and then I mentioned to him about my leaves with the rust from the water in, and he said, uh, "We don't water them." I said, "Well," he says, "No, I don't water them." He said, that, uh, "Since I put them in in November, he said I ain't touched them, not watered them once." So next year, I won't be using any water. Because he's got no rust, no nothing, and they look absolutely lovely. But yeah, there's your... What's that all about? You live and you learn, I suppose. Um, and I'm learning all the time. And uh, him never learns. So, uh... That is that for today.
today. Um, so we'll end it there and hopefully you shall watch this tonight being Wednesday. So I'll get home and get this all edited and get it up. So uh, I shall see you again Saturday. Or I won't see me. I won't see you. Unless I see someone out and say hello. Um, yeah. So until Saturday. Take it easy. Kim, do you want to say bye-bye? Bye! -bye? bye. <laughs>